For Great Search, brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit. Thank you so much, DigiKey, for Spartan, Desk Lady Ada. Great Search is when Lady Ada uses all her powers of engineering and smarts to show you how to find stuff on DigiKey.com. Lady Ada, what is the Great Search for this week? Okay, well, this is going to be an, an easy, easy but goodie. Uh, so looking at this um, keyboard matrix, uh, you'll notice that there's a lot of, include a diode, sorry, an LED for each board, uh, each key. So is the key, and then there's an LED above it, and there's also a diode. Uh, so this is a diode matrix keyboard, which means that you don't have a key ghosting when you press multiple keys at once. Um, you know, for macro pads, it might not be that important, but diodes are really inexpensive, and you just add one per key, and it means that you can detect each individual key press no matter what combination are pressed. And especially for people who do gaming, it, it's not an unusual to have multiple keys pressed at the same time. Uh, you don't want there to be um, ghost keys that appear. So let's... Let's go to the computer and I'll actually show, I saw like a kind of a nice a site. This is a uh, gammon.co.au. Um, so this is how normal low cost matrices are made. You've got um, the uh, columns and you've got the rows and you've got these little switches. You know, you test each row, you set each uh, row high. And when the, this is pressed, um, this signal, um, sorry, this signal by default is hold low and then when it's pressed it goes high and that's how you know that this button is pressed so you just you, you can you can scan through the whole matrix to find out very quickly uh, which keys are are pressed um, but what's nice uh, what's what's not good about this is that if you have and there's here's a nice little diagram if you have three keys pressed and they overlap on the column or row the, the fourth key that's like the cross intersection of where those three keys meet, that extra key will appear as if it was being pressed, which is, again, not a good idea. If you're just doing something like a telephone keypad where people only press one button at a time, not a big deal. You know, you can save eight cents, not include diodes. But if you're doing um, any other kind of key matrix, like this person was actually hacking an existing key matrix to add diodes because they were frustrated by the, the key ghosting effect. So to avoid it, all you have to do is add one diode per switch, and that just means that the current only goes one direction. You can't have the current flow back through and accidentally trigger another key. So um, what diode to use? Well, you know, the 1N4148 is a classic. It's, it's, a, it's not just, you know, it, it's a little cliche, but it's also just a really good diode to pick. Why? It's incredibly plentiful. It's very fast. Uh, it has a reasonable forward voltage. It's super cheap. You can get it anywhere. It comes in all sorts of packages. Did I mention it's cheap? It's heckin' cheap. And and again, like you don't have to worry about not like if all the chip shortages and component shortages, you're never gonna run out of the one N four one four eight. Sometimes also people use one N nine one fours. It's a very similar family. And I'll say that there's a lot of diodes out there and diodes that you can get zener diodes and you can get shock key diodes and and et cetera, et cetera. you really just want a small signal diode you know you don't need a 1 and 4001 um, power diode um, it's not going to be as fast it's not going to be as inexpensive it's not going to be as easy to solder it's not going to be as small go with the classic the 1 and 4 and 4 8 you're not you're not going to type any faster with a different diode this diode is is nanosecond speed so Let's go to um, DigiKey and check it out. So we can just search for one in for one for eight. And uh, what's interesting is actually they'll show you some some top searches. You can actually like click on these just to get started. But let's actually go and just see all the options available um, real fast. So. We're gonna go with active and in stock because we're we're gonna buy these right now to make our keyboard kit. We want about a hundred of them because we want like one for each um, switch. And um, next, the only important thing is is the package. Do you want surface mount or through hole, and which size? So if you're going to make a um, like a macro pad like this one, which we found on clawboards.xyz, you'll see it's really common. You'll see that all the diodes are over here in, in a row and they're through hole and they've got these little glass bodies with a black stripe and, and red glass. So you can even sort of see the four eight very lightly 
on here. So if you're using the glass side, the gla glass beaded ones with um, leads that you solder, those are called DO35. So you'd pick through hole, and then I think it's, there's really only like one or two sizes. Yeah, so there's there's basically die, which is, I don't know, like a small chip, and then DO35. There's two options for DO35, axial. So let's pick those. And like, boom, all the diodes you can want. Now, every single company that does semiconductors, like the first thing they do is they make a diode because it's like the easiest, cheapest thing to make. You might as well get good at, manufacturing and taping components by making a diode. Can't go wrong. So you have a lot and a lot of options for diodes. Um, which ones to pick? Well, you can look at prices at, you know, 100. So you go up here and you enter in how many you want. And then you click, you know, apply. And it'll show you the, the lowest price ones for that quantity. On semiconductor, you know, classic Motorola, um, they're going to have about a million in stock and they'll be about three and a half cents a piece so that's a good deal and you can get like you know any any quantity you want they'll come on tape so you know it's one wheel and you just pull them off the tape and, and you're ready to go so this is this is a perfectly fine diode love it um let's say you want to do you know and again they have these are all different photos but they're all the same thing you know microchip makes diodes um, Vichy makes diodes. NTE makes diodes. All, everyone makes diodes. You want diodes, you got them. All for about three to four cents. So let's go to the overhead. For this keyboard controller, to make the manufacturing easier, they don't use the through hole. The through hole is easier for humans, much tougher for machinery. So this is a uh, diode that's SOD 123 size. You're probably like, how do I know what size it is? Well, first off, I just deal with the size of diode all the time. But you also Google for diode sizes and, um, and my computer. Can you uh, go back over there? Yeah, go back to the computer. If you look for diode sizes, there's, there's all sorts of um, like comparison photos and like, this is a good one. Maybe. There's lots of, of pics available that will compare um, the different, this is not a good image because these are not to scale. You want a to scale image. This, this is down. The internet barely works anymore. Hold on. Let me find a, maybe I can just view this image. Well, it's small, but you can kind of see it. So there's, SMC, SMB, SMA, SOD123, and SOD123FL. The SOD123 is kind of like the easiest to hand solder, um, but we, you can still get a wide range of signal diodes. SMA and SMB and SMC, they're, they're power diodes. You don't really want those. So let's look for um, SOD123. One twenty, and this was also another a really good image here because this shows you the comparison. I use three twenty three and one twenty three, but three twenty three they're a little tiny. They're good for again pick and place machine does a great job with them, but for a human, I'd say one twenty three. So let's look for um, this in one twenty three. So we're gonna do we're going to um, delete this filter and this filter and these two okay and then now when we look for the packages we're going to do surface mount and so through all because we want to pick and placeable and then yeah over here we have 123 323 and 523 again it's a little confusing but the bigger the number the smaller the package you know what are you gonna do um the f and the fl just mean how thin they are so you can they're basically equivalent. So let's pick the SOD 123 and 123F together. And um, ditto, let's look at pricing at 100 pieces or more. And then uh, we've got this one. I mean, you're not going to, you know, this. it's a very tiny picture. But it looks like you can, you know, there's not, um, oh, wait, hold on. They do you have, oh, this is a, um, sorry, this is a marketplace. So let's exclude that. 
So you can basically get these for about six cents a piece. They're more expensive, which is interesting. Like they really want you to buy a full tape and reel, like a full reel of these um, surface mount diodes. But again, if you're doing a pick and place design, you really need to have you know some of these. So I would, I would probably just pick up, you know, one of these or one of these. I think it, if you're getting a reel, which is a thousand quantity, yeah, they're like three cents or so. Three, six cents. Oh, wait, hold on. This didn't apply. Oh, I did apply. Weird. I don't know why I didn't come through. Um, you can also search by stock number and it looks like Viché. These ones, they have about 188,000 in stock and they're about, again, four cents a piece. So diodes, they're great. They're wonderful. Do you know, like, you know, they're not super cheap, right? Four cents does add up. Um, but when you're, if you end up getting like really large quantities, I think they go down to like a penny or two and you kind of do need them. Like if, especially if you're, if you're making a macro pad, you might be able to get away with not having them. But for a keyboard where the humans are typing on, you really don't want any errant keys to come out. And there are, I have seen people like post up um, matrix maps where they try to tell you here, if you pick these keys on your rows and columns, you're least likely to have key ghosting. Um, but if you're going to make a keyboard and you're going to sell it, people are going to probably pretty much demand that you have individually diode protected keys. So one and four and four, eight, I don't know. It's a great diode. Uh, use it for decades. Never done me wrong. Good everyday signal diode. It's a great turn. Where is